Let's take a look at this person's mistakes and how you can avoid them. It's surprising to me that millennials and Gen Z still don't understand corporate. The title is Hired External Candidate Should I Quit? I'm devastated. I've been at my job for two years going above and beyond every single day. That's mistake number one and a big one. Why are you going above and beyond every single day? This is how corporate works. You're hired because someone likes you. Not because of your skill set. Millions of people have the same skill set. In corporate, there is a friendship hierarchy. Your job is to learn that hierarchy and find out where you fit in. It's a chain starting with you being hired all the way up as far as it goes. Could go through marketing, operations, sales, wherever. Either the person who hired you likes you or the person who gave them authorization to hire you likes you. That is your corporate click. If the top of the click goes away, gets fired, terminated, goes to another job, the whole chain falls apart. You need to find a new home. Your primary job, once you get hired, is to make that click look good. Socialize with them, expand their influence, get them more budget. Going above and beyond, never saying no, and doing the job of three people is irrelevant. The employee continues to say that they're level three, they wanted a level five position, but the company decided to go with someone external. Related to the first point, you didn't know who belonged to your click. Who had the power to give you that promotion? You didn't know, they didn't know you, you didn't get the promotion. Number two, management has more money to give to an external hire than an internal hire. Talk to anyone in senior management. They can give more money to an external hire than to anyone below them in their team. This shows up in data all the time. People who change jobs get paid better than people who stay. Why is this? Corporations know that over 97% of employees will tolerate low pay, no raises, and not leave the job. There's no reason to give promotions and money to people who will not leave. Why would you do that? They're not going anywhere. Data shows less than 3% of people change jobs anyway. Because employees, in addition to being addicted to a salary, what they want to do is not to look for a new job. Employees hate looking for a new job. That's why there's no reason to promote them or give them more money. Employee says the reason given was that even though they were doing the work of level five, it wasn't enough reason to have them skip level four. Again, related to the fact that over 97% of employees just won't go anywhere anyway. Continuing to demonstrate that they don't understand how corporate works, they say that their performance reviews are amazing. And they can't give them a level four position because no such position exists. I don't know why people still don't understand this, but the performance review is not for the employee. It's for the corporation. It's there to document why you do not deserve more money. That's why there is always an area of improvement. Your compensation has been set by a budget committee a year ago. You're not overachieving anything. The second role of the performance review is to document any reason that the company may have to terminate you. It's a paper trail for company lawyers. Hopefully the employee figures some of this out or they're going to be very unhappy working for decades on end in corporate. Hopefully they don't also believe that a corporation could provide job security because the only job security is to become financially independent. Get financially literate, start here. Keep up to date with the newsletter linked off the bio. Good luck. Take care.